make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on activated in Preferences. I delete the default cube using the X key shortcut. I use Shift A to add a plane to my scene. In the Shading Editor workspace, I add a new material and name it. I use Shift A and add a Veronoi texture node. I use Shift A and add a color ramp node. I connect the color output to the factor input of the color ramp. I connect the color output of the color ramp to the base color of the principal shader. I select the white color stop and change it to a cream color. I select the black color stop and change it to a darker brown color. These will be the imperfections in the paper. I can now make adjustments to the noise texture. I can also move the black color stop to determine how much imperfection is showing. I use Shift D to duplicate the Voronoi texture and connect the color output to the displacement of the material output. I use Shift A to add a displacement node between the Voronoi texture and the material output. I change the mid level and scale of the displacement node. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making a procedural paper material in Blender, then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or texture art. So if you're interested in these topics, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.